so today we would be discussing how to give an audio file input to matlab okay so like the use can be we can convert this audio file into a set of data points which can be further used for filtering or some other purpose okay so the basic thing which we need to like I, this is a very simple piece of code which we need to do to read the sound or to get the sound from matlab so we know that the importance of clear command is used to clear the workspace and this comes the important part right over here so to read the audio file make sure that your audio file is situated or it is located in the folder which presently you're writing this file for example c here i'm using uh, i'm uh, writing this all commands under documents of matlab so make sure that your audio underscore try is also stored under the same folder matlab so here as you can see i have so, uh, i have stored this audio underscore trail in the same folder matlab so i have also written this right here where this file is saved in documents matlab so this is the most important and the basic command which uh, i need by comma f of s f of fs equal to audio read of audio underscore trial mp3 so this is not okay sensitive i guess and now Y is actually the set of data points. FS is actually the sampling rate, which is actually 48 kilohertz as seen. And audio read is the command which we are using. And this is actually the name of the file. So the important thing is like not the important thing is yes, like most of our audio files are generally in MP3 format. And also if you see under documentation for Windows 7 or later versions, it is preferred that the file is in MP3 or MPEG format. OK, so once uh, you give the proper file name along with the format and this command sound by comma FS is used to generate the sound. So if I open the sound. Hey guys, welcome to let's learn with NS. So this is the actual sound which I which I manually played. But now suppose I want to play this sound using MATLAB. So since I've written this piece of code and FS is used for the sampling frequency, now I will run the code. Hey guys. Welcome to let's learn with MS. So as you have seen, we have used the audio file which was stored in MATLAB folder to. Uh, and it was used to get the sound using MATLAB. So the importance, as I said in the earlier stage, was that we can use this data points by for filtering or some other purpose. Like I have done some part over here for my side, but I'm sure I will also release some videos regarding how to filter and things like that. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.